evening, everybody, my social butterflies. Buenas noches, todas las personas. Thanks for tuning into this video. Today I am doing an unboxing of another jean doll. This is the third one that I had ordered. I don't have that much space to display. I'm like, where am I gonna put y'all? I love these dolls though, and they have the most gorgeous dresses. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. I won her on an auction site and she came in this lovely lion printed box that represents the Ashton Drake galleries that um, she came from originally. And um, I had a previous video a few months back where I talked about auction sites. I gave y'all a couple ideas of places that you can look that a lot of people don't know about. There's Shop Goodwill and then there's Hybid. And I'll put the links in my description and in my comment section. But this particular auction site, it's, it's a different one. Yeah, it's my little secret because there's some really like special gems and I'm just kind of saving that site for myself. Um, if y'all know about it, y'all know about it, but I'm not going to reveal it in my channel. Like, anywho, <laughs> this is the box that was inside of that box with this gold label. And I checked out the doll to make sure she was all right before I did this review. And so this is what the label looks like the Ashton Drake galleries and it says bringing you dolls of irresistible value so there it is Ooh, her little um brochure just fell I'm gonna go ahead and take that off before I show you guys the doll in detail but yeah this is this is the lovely illustration that came with the doll and should I open it guys or should I keep it in the there's like this other piece of paper and I want to see what's in it first encounter the debut collection of Miss Madra Lord I love this illustration it's so cute her hairstyle her lip color her eye color the the attitude of her face the little bow in her hair so so divine and wow this is really nice look at that illustration it's so simple but it's just so very elegant i love that style very simplistic pen illustration rendering and then a little bit of watercolor and this is a storyline i'm not going to sit here and read all of this sorry guys but if you want to pause it i guess and read it i'm gonna just go ahead and there you go Take a picture, okay, and then y'all can read that. And then this is the third page right here. So, and I love the certificates. She's number 8669. Um, the, this is the first, oh no, I'm sorry. This handcrafted module doll is certified as 8669. Basically specifications of what comes with the doll and how it was created and there's a number that you could have called Yada 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 Now let's to go to the fun part Unboxing the actual doll Doing this stuff is never like glamorous trying to open these things She is so like exquisite guys It was kind of hard to get her out of the box because her hands were bound to that cardboard with these ribbons and stuff and there was a ribbon around her right her waist as you can see it doesn't really necessarily go with the dress but i'm not going to take it off and she was bound by her her stand as well anyway it was easier to take her out than a lot of dolls it wasn't like a whole bunch of plastic it was just these that was just like going through the actual box itself and then I had to like rip the box because I didn't feel like cutting it. What I love about this doll is she's different than the other two that I have. Both her legs and her arms bend. One of them only the arms, I mean only the legs bend and then the other one neither the arms or the legs bend. So they have slight variations to some of these dolls and the more articulated a doll is the more I love it. Like her elbows bend so that makes it even better when it comes to posing i feel like i can do more with it um more graceful poses you know like she could be holding the dress or 
see what I can do with this. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know what, what pose I should do. Maybe like that. Yeah, something like that. Just something a little effortless. I wish her, her um, wrist would bend. I would kind of point it down a little bit more. But besides that, those are just some things that I just recognize is that the legs and the arms bend. So you can see her legs here so that I can show you guys better. That's her leg bending. And you can see how long their, their legs are. Look at these lovely shoes. Woo! Okay. Lovely shoes, painted toenails. They always have their nails painted. Love the shoes. They're always so sophisticated. She's got her um, layers for her dress. It looks very, very nice. And here it is right here. Another layer adds all of this boldness to the body of the gown. It goes all the way around and the seams are gorgeous. There's no thread coming out of the dress. It's just perfect. Now I'm noticing this though. I guess it's just how the closure is on the dress. They didn't have a zipper or anything. So there's a gap here where the dress fastens. And these fasteners, it's actually just a hook that goes through some string. So really, the dress should not be taken off because it's like there's no fasteners. It's actually just a hook fastener that you pull and release. And I'm not going to bother messing around with that. But look at how pretty this gold thread is. This design. And then the little beads. I love the little beads that they installed and this gold leaf design in the center. It's very much like a, it's like a dove or, or a, yeah, it like reminds me of a bird. It's very feathery and it's like a dove. See these lovely floral motifs at the center with the stones in the middle? So me, I love it. You know, there's some color here reflecting. And then she's got her little booklet on her wrist. I never take these off because I think this is pretty neat. And it just says what the box basically said. Identifies the doll. And this is her stand. It says Madam or Madra. Sorry, it says Madra. Alright. Really, really nice. And then this is her hair and her face. I love it. I love a really nice hairstyle on a doll. There's actually even a barrette at the top here that they installed, and I love that. So it's rolled on the sides, and then she's got this gorgeous bun that was twisted, and I love how red it is. It's so bright red, and these bangs are so bold. <laughs> They're so bold, and I wish her lip color was like the same copper red as her hair. I think that would have been even better. And she's got green eyes. I feel like her eyes should have been like darker. She's got this grayish color around the rim of her eyelids. I love the mascara design and the lashes of course are always cute. These gold earrings are very very modern and chic. But wait, there is more. She came with accessories the coat is everything hollywood glamour she's looking exquisite it's a little bit much it's a little extra she's giving me hollywood star like she just wanted to steal the show and yeah let me know what y'all think if you think that um the coat is doing her justice or if it's too overpowering um taking out this thing i'm a bobber it's got this cool brick looking pattern on the back and it kind of sheds when you rub it. Um, there'll be like fibers flying around, but it, it's pretty soft overall, but it does, it does feel a little synthetic. Like you can feel it um, and it sheds, but the inside is the part that feels really nice. It's the same 
fabric that they use for the dress and it's it's so nice the closure the stitching it's so clean and crisp i hope i can sew as well as that um when i'm starting to make my more of these coats and things like so so pretty i think it looks a little bit better when you push it down than when you kind of cover her up then it starts to look a little bit like not like it's fitting but it looks a little bit better when you open it up a little bit like that. And yes, that concludes the lovely Mel Odom doll from the Ashton Drake collection. And I'm gonna do like a little spin around when I get her on her platform. So again, got shoes here, little tan shoes. Big, bold dress with this extra fabric on top. Large, oversized coat that almost has a train because it's so big. Short sleeves. Well, no. Nah. They kind of go down to her forearms, like here. That's where her sleeves stop. But when you push it down, it looks like it's full length. They're really short. Saw some of the thread just kind of like, yeah. The fibers fly around very easily, so it sheds a little easily, but it's so dense that, I mean, if you don't like bother it or touch it much, it's fine. Um, look, it's a functioning purse, okay? This lovely gold threaded handle and then there's this stitching here with another diamond little pearl accents around the edge and it's not just one row it's like four rows of pearls so much design i love it and it's this beautiful vintage shape to it then we've got that as well like that is so cute guys and that concludes my third Ashton Drake jean doll, particularly from the Mel Odom designer, Miss Madra from the First Encounter collection. I know it's a lot of details and names, but they, they kind of made it a little bit complicated. You know, she's got a name and then there's a collection and then there's the designers, but yeah, there you have it. And thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and step aside and do a little turnaround. And thank you guys for tuning into this video. I will see you guys soon. Bye.